Okay, so last time we got to learn about molarity and making solutions. This time we're going to learn more about molarity and factors that affect what we call solvation. Not salvation, solvation. Okay, and look at the particle view. It, J. Lewark 8.3 is due today, so anytime there's some downtime, you'll want to be working on that. It's more molarity problems and particle view problems. And then we're going to be doing co um, Kool-Aid concentration, little lab. You've got 8.3. If you haven't done quiz 8.2, you need to do 8.3 also. All right. Oh, no. Um, so just grab a piece of paper and start doing regular notes, and I'll try and get one printed out for you later. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Um, you know what? Mrs. Holtree might have some. You want to run and go see if she has one, some for me, because I gave her my extras. <coughs> okay, so, um, <coughs> my goodness. Um, we're going to calculate molarity. We're going to give, uh, determine the concentration of Kool-Aid that's most delicious. And then we're going to do factors that affect solvation. And that's what we're going to start with, is factors that affect dissolution or solvation. So those are two different, that's right. There are two different kinds of uh, way to say that you're dissolving. Okay, it's either solvation or dissolution. So things we're going to cover, and we're going to hit more on the next slides, are um, increasing surface area, which is like grinding it up, stirring it, and heating it. This is, this is where, yep, this is your notes. So we're going to start right at the top. I'm just going to start right now when I turn the page. Stirring or agitation. Okay, so agitation or stirring, yay, thank you. So just grab one and just come sit down, I'll put it back where it needs to go. Okay, so agitation is stirring, and stirring speeds up the rate of dis dissolving or solvation because it disperses the solid and brings the solid in contact with all the solvent particles. This is okay, this is agitation or stirring. Agitation means stirring. So it, either you're stirring it in a circle or you're agitating it, shaking it back and forth. By doing that, your solute doesn't stay down at the bottom as it does in the left picture here. It actually gets mixed in. And as it gets mixed in, it comes in contact with the water and is solvated. Okay, we okay to go forward? Okay, to go forward now. So basically, it just stirring mixes it up and lets it come in contact. And I know this is acid particles and marble chips, but I was just looking at the pictures here is what we were wanting to actually do because we do water in a solute. Okay. All right. So grinding the solute. This is these three things. I like to think of my Kool Aid rules. So if I try and make Kool-Aid with a big chunk of sugar that's been sort of put together and a cold water, and I just dump that chunk of, of sugar into the water, dump the Kool-Aid thing on top and say, okay, I've got Kool-Aid, who would like some? It, does, it hasn't mixed. The sugar hasn't dissolved. The Kool-Aid sort of sitting on top. But if I make Kool-Aid with hot water, powdered sugar, it's going to instantly dissolve. Again, I probably wouldn't want to taste it because it's hot water and brings back memories of being sick because my mom used to bring us either hot jello or hot Kool-Aid to drink. To, yeah. Blah. Yeah. Because that was the old-fashioned way to get like a Gatorade to get some electrolytes and stuff back in you. So that's what they used to do. Yeah. The thought of it just makes me ill. So, because <laughs> that's what I was. I was ill when I had it. OK, 